All right, all right, guys, all right. So, what are we doing? We testing. We testing for any leaks. Already level it out. Everything is all nice. Level at all four corners. I know it's a mess. Don't judge me right now. It's all right, you can judge me. It's okay. I'm looking for any water. Oh, it's not just focusing on the hose. Right, there we go, I'm looking for any water leaks. Remember guys, this is my garage. That I make my new fish room. Perfect, perfect. So we're doing a little water test in here guys. And I'll update you guys as I go along. All right. All right guys, see what's happening here? <laughs> this is the reason why you do a water test. And of course I didn't fill up all the way. Barely had like what, six inches of water in there. And it start leaking. It's leaking from there. And it's leaking from there. It's not leaking in the back anywhere, which is great. But nevertheless, I'm gonna have to take out all the old silicone there and reseal it. Not a big deal. It's gonna take a couple of days now, but um, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Such a bummer though, huh? It's leaking. What are you gonna do though? Can't do anything about it, just have to learn from your mistakes. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong here anyway. Um, It's a used tank and uh, it's been sitting outside for probably, I wanna say probably about a month. It's been sitting outside, you know, sun, rain, sun, rain. So, uh. Silicone definitely gets rotted out with the with the uh, water and the sun, water, sun, you know. So it's all right. You can see it here too. Sorry, guys. I have my flashlight on here. When I have my flashlight, I have the light on. <clears throat> but yeah, it's leaking. All right. I'll update you guys as I go along, okay? All right, guys. Hold on. All right. All right, guys. We're back. We're back. Today's move-in day for the Stingray. So I'm just gonna basically drain out my tank here. And um, I got some buckets, some five gallon buckets I picked up from Home Depot. And um, I'll put them in individual buckets. I forgot I had these guys in here, but I'll drop them in the buckets also. But um, yeah, just updating you guys on everything I do here. Well. Majority of things I do, not everything. It's just that it's been so crazy with moving and work and everything. It's been so hectic. But um, as you guys can see, I got this tank shut down already. I'm ready to move. I have all of my stuff packed up. Moved already. Got a couple more stuff. <clears throat> Those are my uh garbage bins that I age my water with. Got a couple more things that I need to move. Um, yeah, but it's it's empty, see? This is where the, uh, the bass tank was, the 220. But uh, I'm getting stuff done, slowly but surely. It's just been a lot because I had to work and, and I had to um, basically try to figure out how to do all of this with work but um i'll update you guys as i go along okay all right guys later Ooh -wee. look at that guys look at that that's my mail that i got from kells last year what october november november look at that look at that just took him out he's basically the size of the bucket all right just gonna show you guys as I take them out. All right, hold on. All right. That's the female that I got from Kells also. Look at the patterns, man. Oof, just amazing. Huh? It's nice, look at her, she's amazing. 
All right, guys, I don't want to spend too long. All right, hold on. All right, all right. This is one female I got from Stingray Biology. Of course, she's a little beat up because I waited a couple, I think it was two, maybe three days. I didn't feed them because I know I was going to move them today. But uh, she's coming along very beautiful also. All right, hold on, guys. And this is the one. This is the one I got from my friend in Hempstead, New York. Very nice. Very nice. She's a little darker. I guess that's because of the breed or whatever. I don't know. But um, nice patterns, nevertheless. She actually became a suction cup just now. I was trying to get her off the bottom and she wouldn't she wouldn't she wouldn't budge at all at all but um yeah she became a suction cup got a little difficulty taking her off but uh she eventually let go and came right in she splashed a couple of times too but couldn't really get that on video i'm here by myself all right guys hold on and this is the last little itty bitty one from stingray biology it's a female yeah, it's a little beat up of course but that's to be expected since I starved them out three days. I don't want them to be too stressed out throwing up their food when I'm moving them. So that's why I starved them out. But uh, colorations are beautiful too. They're a little stressed out, of course. I don't want to get too close before I get stabbed. I don't want to get stabbed. All right, so now I got these guys to take out. They're going to be fun. Tiger Silverados, Angel. Huh? Not that bad for the Angel. But Tiger Silverados is going to be fun. All right, guys, hold on. Whew, still got that to move also. Oh, man. All right, I'll be back. Keep you guys updated. Hold on. All right, guys, we're back. We're back. We're back. As you can see, I got the Stingrays in the 220. Oh, that's, that's, that's horrible view, man. Too much glare. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But, um... That's them. Three of them on this side, I think. And two of them on this side. This is the female. So I acclimated them properly. <clears throat> the only thing is, <laughs> I have two pH meters telling me two different things. So that means, well, I know that I have to replace these two probes. They're um, they're almost six months now. Five, five and a half, almost six months. The end of August should be six months, or whatever. But they're a bit high from what they were used to. My tank water was between. My pH at the old house was between six point eight and seven point one. Oh, see, it just changed. Seven point three. So it's a bit high from what they're used to. But they should be fine. Remember I had the Geophagus and the Giardini and the Warus and a couple of silver dolls in here before. I just bought these, brought these guys over. Um, believe it or not, guys, this is the only filtration that I'm using right now. Remember at the bottom I had the sump, that uh, 65 gallon sump. Uh, I can't remember what brand that was, but um, it was from a salt water tank past videos you guys should see now remember that at least but this is the only thing i'm filtering my water with right now for filtration biological and everything so what's going to happen i'm going to literally have to do well i'm preparing to uh, reseal this got the silicone scraper i'm drying out all the um excess water from the other day i'm going to leak here in the back so until this is sealed and ready for fish, they're gonna have to be in here until the uh, 300 is ready. But until then, I have to do at least, at least 25%, uh, 30% water change daily because that's not enough filtration for these guys at all. I couldn't bring the other um, filter right now because one out of head space and uh, two, it can't, there's nothing for it to go under there. Can't fit under there. It's too long. 
on the other tank i had to literally slide it in from the side to get that in so it's too long to fit under there but i know i'll get it under here properly like that's enough space to actually get it all the way in and put it long way but uh yeah all right i'll update you guys as i go along you know good bad you know i always keep it transparent with you guys i'll keep you guys updated as i go along okay all right guys until next time later guys it's been about an hour since i put them in here and um i'm walking back and forth the tank so uh, as i was walking back and forth they're following me so i'm like okay let me see if they'll eat because normally when they follow you you know that means they're hungry and i just drop some um just drop some was that uh carnivore sinking pellets and not a lot i just put like a small little bit probably like a tablespoon teaspoon whatever tablespoon and uh they're actually eating a little bit not not crazy like they normally do but they're eating <laughs> that's my dad guys so just got out of this guys yep I was in here taking out all the old silicone and in the whole front the whole front you could see a bunch of crushed coral and it wasn't even it went it, it didn't the silicone wasn't even uh, latching onto the glass as it usually would it was just coming off with ease see look big big pieces right there long big pieces just coming right out with ease all right guys i'll update you as i go along Hold on.